guys welcome back to my channel so i'm sorry i haven't posted in the longest time ever um i'm sorry i'm waiting to move out to a different house um long story don't need to know it anyway so i've been going through some of my old stuff and we actually went to um ukraine back in january and we went to see chernobyl so I kind of went through the footage and I thought I would put it up for you guys. Um, it was the best weekend, it was a sick weekend. Um, obviously, stuff going on now, not ideal. Um, and my heart absolutely goes out to everyone in Ukraine, seriously. But I thought I'd upload this video anyway. Um, so sorry it's a bit of a random intro and then it will just go straight into the video. Um, so I'm very sorry about that. But yeah i just thought i'd do a separate intro to this video and just kind of show you what we got up to in ukraine back in january okay so we actually flew out to ukraine um we left on our flight was on saturday the 22nd of january um it was at 12 20 p.m and it took us about three hours and 20 minutes so it wasn't the longest flight but also it wasn't over in a flash like you know so yeah we actually arrived in kiev so we flew from gatwick yeah we flew from gatwick and we went, flew over to kiev 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 and we got there about 5 40 pm so we didn't arrange transfers or anything we literally just got a taxi which cost us $20 and it took about 20 minutes to get from the hotel, no, from the airport, sorry, to the hotel. So it really went that far away. Um, we stayed at Ukraine Hotel and we had bed and breakfast. So it's the hotel that if you look in all the news um, videos now, it would be the one that's behind the, um, there's like a big golden column and it's got like a... Um, like an eagle or an angel or something like that on top of it it's basically the um hotel that's behind that it's it's in a lot of um like news reports at the minute obviously with everything going on the poor things so yeah and then we stayed there um for what was it two three nights yeah we left on the 22nd and we came home on the 25th of january so we left on the 25th of January at 9.50 a.m. Um, in Ukraine time and that flight took nearly four hours. So we basically, we got home at like half 11 in the morning. So that was, um, that was an experience. I've just dropped my notes. So yeah, it was a long old flight actually for, I didn't think it was going to be that long. Yeah, Ukraine Air were great. Uh, we booked with, um, what was the name of the, oh, just Travel Centre. I think it cost us about £300 each, but that included the flight, the hotel, and the trip to Chernobyl, so we done a day, a day trip. All in all, it was so worth it, especially now that everything's kicked off as well in Ukraine. It's amazing that we got to see it before, obviously, all this stuff has happened, so that's as well why I wanted to post it. Um, I always wanted to put, to you know upload this footage, but obviously it's finding the right time with everything going on. It's really insensitive, but yeah, it's an amazing, amazing, amazing city, um, Kiev, and the country Ukraine is just incredible. Um, I really, really hope that things all die down and you know get better so that we can go back i really really want to go back and see chernobyl again but in the summertime because when we went it was absolutely coming down with snow but yeah those are the basics so obviously i'm going to show you the going out there footage the travel day footage whatever it's called so enjoy and I will do a separate intro as well um, for the Chernobyl day trip. I'm going to do it on a separate video because it is long. So, enjoy. I forgot to mention. It was, uh, there was four of us on this trip. Me, obviously Dino, who you should hopefully know. If you don't, he is my fiancé. 
my love of my life, my apple of my eye, the pain in my ass. I love him. And also we went with my dad and my uncle Jay. So my uncle Jay was the one who actually booked all of this and I found out about it through my dad and I totally took over and said oh my god we're coming and luckily my dad and my uncle jay were very kind enough to let us tag along on their little um bro ski holiday so yeah just for, i thought i'd introduce that my uncle and my dad are also in this video so enjoy So we just got off of the parking and we are now on our way to the terminal. It's about a four minute walk. So yeah, see you inside. Oh my God, how cute is this couple? Look, they have matching jumpers on. <laughs> oh, they are so cute. <laughs> so we're just on our way, we just had food didn't we? Yeah. Um, I got a cheese panini. What did you get? Uh, what did you get? Ultimate burger. Ultimate burger. Nice. And, oh it's gone really dark. So dark. We're just on our way to the plane now, um, to the boarding gate. Dad's gonna start moaning. <laughs> Here he is. <laughs> you. <laughs> He's gonna start moaning. Yeah, just gonna go board the plane. See you soon. I don't know, it's cold. Ooh, um, we found a taxi. Um, and we're paying in U US dollars for some weird reason. Um, but yeah, it's snowing. I'll show you, I'll show you how snowy it is. They're arguing about dollars. <laughs> But yeah, so we're here. We're just going to go to the hotel now and settle down and then, yeah, go and see what's about. Oh my God, it is so creepy in here. What's with the sofa? What's with the sofa? Oh, it's 
house with the sofa, Dean. <laughs> oh. Yeah, my uncle just said, I literally just, um, before I turned the camera on, he said, have you ever seen The Shining? And I thought, oh God, here we go. Oh, no. One, one, two, four. It's perfect. I'm sure it will be fabulous. Oh God, oh. That's it. So this is our room. <laughs> I mean, it's great. Um, oh, take these off, these don't mind in. It's great, we have a fridge. Um, it's very red. Okay, so this is the front door. Oh, shall I shall turn you around. Um, coat hanger, stuff, mirror, um, red floor. <laughs> This is the bathroom, it's quite simple. Um, bath, toilet, very basic, yeah. Just, just what you need, I suppose. It's quite clean, to be fair. Um, yeah, toilet. Oh, that's really random. Um, yeah. Oh my god, what is that for? Um, okay. And then you come out to here. Oh, Dean stripping. Please refrain from stripping in the vlog. Um, yeah, it's very wooden and very red. It's like a typical old school. That's not even Ukrainian. So I don't care. That's not even funny. We're close enough to mother of um, Yeah, this is our little fridge. Okay, thanks for that demonstration. Um, and we also, we found out, we didn't realize we have a balcony. And look at the view. How amazingly beautiful is that? I don't know what this, this building over here is. I'm not entirely sure, but that is our view. That's our room tour, guys. Very, um, very red. Very, very red. Oh, you see all those lights going on over there? I don't know if you can see that. I'll try and zoom in a bit. There is something going on over there. A lot of the, um, as we were driving in, we were seeing a lot of, um, like Christmas stuff. Oh, little show going on in that building. So they've obviously still got a lot of Christmas stuff up. So will be very beautiful and very interesting. So we're going to do a room tour of Dad and Uncle Jay's room. <laughs> we have got time for it. So it's, oh my God, that is an old fashioned bathroom. Um, oh my, wow. Jay. As is in this jazzy as that. Wow, that's a, uh, that's a bit jazzy. <laughs> and they've got a twin, obviously. Same layout pretty much, just a twin. <laughs> but their view is slightly different. Ooh. Uh, whoa, that is so slippery. And he just fell over and stacked it. What is that over there? That looks amazing. I'm gonna zoom in. It's beautiful. It looks like a castle. It's amazing. And then yeah, we've got like, all this here. I'm interested to see what that building is. But yeah, that's their room. It's really, really snowing. Oh, and they're all throwing snowballs. Oh! It's really is <laughs> Oh, it's beautiful. We're going on the worst plane ever. Dad 
you like a child? <laughs> Children! <laughs> okay, so this is the Independence Monument. Um, this was just basically put up in the Independence Square in Kiev. Um, and it was to commemorate the independence of Ukraine. Um, so that's basically what you're looking at now. Um, I had to record over this because um, I didn't know what I was talking about at the time. Oh God. Trying not to die on the steps. I am, I am being careful. I'm being told off. Ooh, that step's wonky. Buses, oh, it's a memorial for something, isn't it? Yeah, I don't it? know what it is. I don't know if it is a bro. None of it's actually in any kind of English. Hmm. It's lovely. We got. Probably not, no. Just the artwork on this. Oh, I don't know what I'm treading on. I don't know what this is. I don't want to tread on it in case it's like a grave or something. That'd be really so disrespectful. How are your shoes? Fine. Snowy. No wonder you're They're cold. snowy. You your ankles out. Yeah. Okay. I'm not that cold down there. And this is like, this is the bus centre, isn't it? No, I don't know what it is. Or is it a shopping centre? Okay, we're going into a shopping centre called Globus. That is so gorgeous. These are cool. These very pretty little cows all decorated up. So we've come inside and we found a little supermarket. I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna level with you guys. I literally don't understand the money at all. <laughs> Ever in the freezing cold we eventually managed to find a really really awesome crazy weird restaurant slash karaoke bar slash nightclub slash shisha bar and the food was actually incredible really really hard for vegans and vegetarians I must say but the service and everything it was it was brilliant recommend 100% and the actual name of the restaurant is Dubai restaurant and karaoke bar um, Definitely, definitely worth it. <laughs> that is proper soggy, isn't it? Give <laughs> me my larder. Is that what it's called? A larder? A larder, yes. Yeah. A larder. <laughs> in England, I shall buy and purchase myself a larder. There you go. You heard it here first, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, the car I'm grabbing in the UK. <laughs> Very cool. 
You know, it's probably it's worth a lot. 1600! Lower than 1600! No, that's it. Thank you. Oh, yeah. No, you wouldn't. You'd be scared of it. He's scared of everything. <laughs> Um, I basically just had like a walk around my face if you can see is like so red because it's so so cold outside um, But yeah, we got food. It was crazy <laughs> We walked around for quite a while and my dad even said it was so surprising how many people don't speak English um, I was like We're in Ukraine. And why would people speak English? Um, just an arrogant English thing, isn't it? Um, just to assume that everyone else speaks your language but um yeah we basically we went to this like karaoke um shisha restaurant dance bar club <laughs> it's all a mishmash of everything um and it was really really fun although these random girls come out and i think they were hired dancers but they had like a red like like one piece on and then it was very see through, it was very revealing. It was really random. We were just sitting there eating, and then these just random girls come out and started like doing all this like sexy dance. It was so, so weird. But yeah, then we were just walking around, um, and we also went back to the supermarket because um, we found this like supermarket literally next door. We got some chocolate, I'll show you what I got. Do a hotel room um, haul. So we went to this shop called Novas. Novas? This one and we got paprika pringles crab lays i don't know if these are actually vegetarian and i'm not gonna lie i probably won't be eating them but these are vegan so i'll be eating these um we've got some kinder chocolate obviously my favorite chocolate ever and we got that is milka and it's like whole nut caramel so it's quite this nougat nougat whatever it's called caramel and it's like i mean i can't understand any of this writing but yeah that's we got that as well and then we also got oh dean picked that up oh, dean's just answered the phone to his sister i think skittles yummy you texted me back don't feel me don't be such a dick you're so rude so, don't swear on my vlog. Show me the rest of what we got. What else did we get? I got them. <coughs> I got these. And yeah. Then I got and we you, got this as well. And I got you these. Ooh, what are they? It's a cake. Oh, I've had those before. Yeah. I don't know about that one. What is, so, so explain this because we were in the shop and we it's saw nice. it and it's it looks like it's just full of sugar. It is, it's like old school fucking... Sunny D. <laughs> you know, like the Sunny D that they banned because they made everyone... Crazy. Yeah, kids were going nuts. <laughs> They're all idiots. But we also got Coke Zero, obviously. It got to be done. Oh, Dean pushed the boat out and got some Red Bull. And we also, I, got some water. So... <laughs> I want that side because that side is going to get picked on first if there is a murderer. That's fine. So, well, yeah. That, that's my side of the house anyway, so I don't want <laughs> me. Does any other girls do that where you like make him have the side of the bed that's near the door because otherwise someone's going to come in and they're going to. I mean, if someone comes in to kill you, you're both going to die, right? But they're going to kill him first. <laughs> so bad. Um, but yeah, this is our. I don't get this out. <laughs> no, this is our haul minus the fires. So that was basically our day one travel vlog. Um, yeah, so in the next video, 
it will be purely based on our day trip to Chernobyl. It's It was such a long day and I had so much footage that I didn't necessarily want to put it all in one massive like two hour long kind of video. So yeah, I've kind of split it up into three videos. You've got this one and then the full day Chernobyl vlog. Hey doggies! I've got the doggies. Hey doggies! With Frankie! Yeah! Hey George! <laughs> so yeah, I've split it up into three videos um, because on our third day, where are we had really weird flights, um, it kind of cut out most of the day on the, the last day. So, well, yeah, I've kind of split it that way. So you've got one dedicated video to Chernobyl. And then the last video will be um, not so much us traveling home because I don't think that's particularly interesting, but just more sights and everything that we saw on our last day when we was roaming around ukraine so kiev i should say so yeah i really really hope you enjoyed our first one of three videos um from our trip to ukraine check out the next video because it's gonna be the best video <laughs> thank you for watching um please 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 give this video a thumbs up if you liked it um, also i've left a link in the description for anyone who wants to donate to the wonderful organizations that are helping out for our ukrainian buddies so yeah go show your love and support to them and i'll see you in the next one goodbye